Coffee de Guam, I'm Ayana Shed, your host for PNC's weekly road report. This week, we turn to the most crucial part of our daily commute, swerving and curving around those pesky potholes. Over decades, Guam has been plagued with pothole-ridden roads, most especially in our neighborhood villages. We turn to island residents to see what village they believe has the worst potholes on the island. I think Santa Rita, the uh, Cross Island Road. I'm, I'm there every day. I had to pick up my kids, so it's, it's really hard on the cars. Kaiser? They did though. I was in Chalampago. Chalampago? Yeah. Is it hard for you to drive along this road? Um, pretty much. I mean, not, not a lot of people know that uh, Chalampago is pretty much the heart of Guam. You know, you go from Agana, you go cut through, you can end up in Barragata. Yeah. Yeah, I would say they got pretty bad potholes there. Oh, in Rahim. Daddy Do. Daddy Do. Has the worst potholes with um, Machachi Road. Mm -hmm. That's pretty bad. And is it hard for you to drive along this road? Yes, really. It is. With my tires, it's not very good. Burdened with the costs of tire repairs and related issues, residents may be concerned about the effect of these damaged roads. In an effort to improve village streets throughout the island of Guam, Department of Public Works put together a village streets master plan. DPW Director Vincent Ariola says that funding will be allocated for road improvements in proportion to the need in each village. Uh, every village basically gets about... Uh two roads mm -hmm. paved within every village and, and we, we work with the mayors to choose which roads mm -hmm. which are priority uh, and uh, there's a rating system uh, that, that we do uh, and it's based on number one of course ownership, uh, rights away, easements, uh, condition of the road and, and uh, um, urgency mm -hmm. of, of getting it repaired. According to Ariola, they recently completed a road project in Ipan and will begin construction in other villages within the next couple of months. These road projects are funded through the liquid fuel tax revenue, federal government grants, government-sponsored loans and bonds. To find out what rank your village street falls under, check out DPW's Village Streets Master Plan found on their website www.guamtransportationprogram.com. And that wraps it up for your weekly road report. I'm Ayana Shed. Thanks for watching.